Okay, I'm back at it again with a new fish. So today we're gonna unbox another fish. I'm a little concerned. The bottom of the box seems to be a little wet here. So we're gonna open this up right away and get started. But here's the biggest thing in, in this one, in this unboxing video is one, I use some gloves. So what that means there's something rare and special in this video itself. I mean, special. So, first, let me open the box nice and slow. Don't touch anything. Don't tear the box open. I'm really nervous about this one. This is something that I've been having on my list for a very long time. It just got delivered here about half an hour ago. Got downstairs, saw it. It's unboxing. Ooh. Got a nice little thank you card from Predator Friends, so thank you guys, appreciate it. A sticker as well, appreciate it as always. Let me open it nice and slow. Oh my God. Oh my God. First, let me show you the first fish before I say the second one. So, oh yeah, let me, let me walk around so you guys can see this. One of the monster fish I've been looking for, you got here a small little alligator gar. So. We're gonna get this guy outside this tank. He's definitely swimming around, but I'm gonna get him a tank behind me because he's gonna start getting acclimated and temperature as well. So we put him in the bag. So as I walk over to my other tank, I'm leaving that there because there's actually another fish that I'm going to unbox. And this one, I'm gonna to have to be really careful about um, because I don't wanna get injured. That's the key. I don't wanna get injured or fish, but Red is my favorite color, so that's why I have red gloves. Plus, they're cheap on Amazon, so I got those on. They're super big, so they're like flopping around, but they should be able to do the job. So, with no further ado, oh, oh yeah, I got one. You see right here the bags, ooh, maybe dripping a little bit, but I do have an electric eel. So, let me walk around so you guys can see it. I have the gloves on for precaution purposes, but... There he is. There he's swimming around in the bag already. So what we're gonna do, the bag's leaking a little bit. I'm gonna walk over to my tank right behind me, you guys can see. But first I'm gonna put it here. Let him sit there for a second. Take all, open all the lids. Obviously I don't need these anymore for right now. But let's get inside that tank. Let's get the acclimation process started. He's definitely looking healthy. He's a good, good DC size. I'm really excited about this fish. Uh, ever since I saw the video or show called Monster Fish, this has been one of the fish I've been looking forward to seeing. I've been can't wait to see, and I can't wait to actually get him in my fish room. So let me pick it up. I don't need no gloves here because I'm not touching the bag, but there he is. Let's put him inside here, and let's start the acclimation process. There we go. So let me take the camera off so you guys can actually see it, what I'm looking like, because this is a super cool fish. So let me take the camera off. It's going to be kind of wobbly. Let me walk you over there. Let me take a look at this guy. So let's get a little closer, closer look and see what it looks like. So there he is in there. And you guys can see that is a true electric eel. So definitely, he's probably hungry. It's been a long way traveling. We're gonna give him some time to acclimate it, but at least he's moving around. You can see he's looking for stuff, maybe looking for food. Man, boy, is this one of my favorite fish I'm looking forward to seeing. As you guys know, electric eels, they're, they're, it is electric, so I don't wanna to touch it. That's why I got the gloves behind me. But as you can see, he is alive, he's there, so let's start the acclimation process. Now, let's go over to the other side of the room let me show you the other fish that's actually already, I'm gonna start the acclimation process, is the alligator gar. He's in there somewhere. Let me see. Let's get a closer look. There he is. So he's definitely fighting. He's ready to go. He's gonna be in this tank. And we're gonna start the process. Let me turn the camera around. As you guys can see, oh, I'm looking a little too dark there, but that's lighter. There we go. But I'm gonna acclimate these two fish, get them ready, get them started, and both the tank over there and a tank behind me, and let's see what happens, all right? So let's start watch the acclimation process now. So 
we're back here. It's already been 20 minutes. He's in the tank, he's been acclimating. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start finalizing the process acclimation. So I'm gonna make sure he gets a nice, good, clean way of at least getting in here. So what I'm gonna do is, first is, let's put my gloves on. That's the first thing I wanna do. Because obviously I don't want things that happen to him. And the second thing being, I have a bucket right here where I'm gonna put him in the water. So I don't wanna put this water actually in my fish tank itself. So let me get my gloves here, put them on nice and tight. They are definitely thick and hard. Need a knife. Obviously I'm not gonna cut the bag. Let me put this to a side and the bucket is there. I'm gonna take him out. Well, oh, that water is heavy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the top of the bag. Make sure I don't touch him, obviously, of course. Woo, that water smells. That's all that ammonia that you're smelling right now. I'm smelling right now is usually when a fish travels, they produce a lot of poop and ammonia. So that's what I'm actually smelling. So I'm gonna be careful and take and dump the water inside here. There he goes. Woo! That water smells. It's probably rubber gloves smelling stealth, but there he is. He is in there. Obviously, I got water all over the table, which is fine, but he's in there. He's out of the tank. So let's let me show you guys what it looks like. So I'm gonna be careful. Put my gloves to the side if I can get them off. And then I'm gonna show you what look what's gonna look like. Let me get the camera off. The stand itself. I'm gonna walk over here and take a look. There we go. There we go. I need to get one of those quick disconnects, but look inside. There he is. Nice size. Looks really, really healthy. Um, probably stressed from traveling all this way down, but I'm going to start the acclimation process. I won't be filming that. I'll film once I put him inside because I like to take my time acclimating the fish and make sure all the ammonia and all that stuff. As you see, the water is just from traveling. It's full of poop and all that kind of stuff. So you guys stay tuned and see that macrimation process very shortly. Okay, guys. Well, I will call him Model Y has made it to the fish room. What I've done is I've dimmed the lights really low, and he's just pretty much hanging out, exploring his new environment. He keeps going to the top every few minutes, the brief air. If you notice, I dropped the water level slightly from the top. So right here is a water level. I dropped it slightly from the top to make sure Obviously, he doesn't get out, but he's just kind of exploring his environment, see what's going on. I'm not going to feed him right now because he's just arrived a few hours ago. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him some time. What I usually like doing is blacking out the tank so I'll turn the lights off. Sometimes I even throw a towel or a blanket on top of it so that way it, it kind of covers the whole area so they're not, you know, stressing out. But He's just exploring his environment, checking things out, and this is going to be what I'm going to call Model Y because Model Y is the best known Tesla. I don't want to use the name Tesla because a fish always already has the name itself. But as you guys can see, up oh, there you go. If you know if you caught that or not, but he went to the top and got air, and he's just pretty much exploring his new environment. And first time having an electric eel, and first time only an exotic fish so let's take a look get a closer look there he is there he is he comes around swims he's curious but that's how it's going to be and first time in the fish room with an electric eel i'm really excited but you know i'm a mental health coach soon to be therapist and also fish enthusiast and this is ron johnson you know taking care of my monster fish i love the rare fish because rare fish are cool they're unique they're different and I got one now, and this is Model Y. He's new to the fish room. Give some time. I'll come back in a few days and definitely show him feeding him. And don't put my hands inside the tank because I don't want to get shocked. That's for sure. So thanks for tuning in, guys. See you soon. Don't forget to subscribe, like button. More videos are coming your way.